Alrighty, hello everybody, Servo here, welcome back to the channel. So as most of you know, we just completed the main story, the credits rolled, we had an after credit scene and all that good stuff. And if you haven't watched that, be sure to check the video in the comment section below. But there's actually more quests left, and that is because we have one more pillar to uncover, which is on a Skull Rock. So the little beach over there, the, the little island over by Dazzle Beach. We're going to get that pillar right now. So after you do the whole dream castle, the credits roll, all that good stuff, you actually need to go back inside of the dark castle to do this. Just go inside of this portal over here. From here, just go all the way back inside of the dark castle. And then you can take the long way through the doors, but instead you can just activate this. And this is going to take you to the end where you were fighting with the forgotten. And you're going to see this orb right here. So let's pick it up. Inside your inventory, it says Orb of Unity, a magical artifact powered by acts of unity and togetherness. So now we're going to go take this back to Dazzle Beach by Skull Rock and place it inside. All right, so this is the location of the last pillar, and we're just going to go up there and throw it inside. All right, so now we have a new quest. It's called Between a Skull Rock and a Hard Place. Uncover the mystery of the Pillar of Unity on Skull Rock. So here we're going to have to take all the other pillars and match them up with their respective symbols on the ground here. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of them. Unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to disturb my little area that I created over here. Now you should have eight in total. If you can't find the last one, it's most likely this one over here in the sunlit plateau because it's like a tree and you might overlook it, but you can actually pick it up as well. So we're gonna drag it over here and you should have eight of these in total. So let me place this one down and they have to be in the corresponding spot. So let's take a look here. They each have their own symbol. So the middle one has that symbol there. The tree has this like Z symbol. So we just have to look okay so it's this symbol right here let me go ahead and clean up these flowers so let's grab this one and put it right on top of it there so make sure you clear out this thing on the back here because it is sitting on top of another symbol so that one is going to be the orange one so there's nothing on top the one here with the night thorns is going to be right here on the front right this one from the Glade of Trust that has all the uh, like grass and stuff on top of it, it's going to be on the one behind the tree here. So place it right there. And then uh, this one here, like the meadow one, it's going to be here at the top. All right, so this is the order that you need to place them in on top of the symbol. So on the front right, we have the one with the night thorns on it. The front left, we have the one with some snow on it. Going around, we have one with like moss on it. A smooth one right here we got the one with the blue flowers at the very top and the one from like the glade of trust is on here in the back right behind the tree so go ahead and take a screenshot of that if you want it's easier instead of looking at the orbs just to look at what's on top of the actual pillar so back out of that And it looks like the mouth just moved a tiny bit and then some water started coming out. So this is, I don't think this is going to be in the game yet, but I think it's coming up. So now we have to go talk to Merlin. All right. Is something the matter, Suro? Something weird just happened. I put all the pillars from around the valley near Skull Rock and it started to shake. Is there something inside? Oh dear. That is peculiar. I haven't the foggiest idea what it could mean. I must look into this right away. Scour the library. Review my previous research. Yes, yes. I'll let you know if I uncover anything. Oh, magnificent. And uh, that is it for the quest. Like I said, I think that's just a little teaser. Now, huge spoiler coming up. If you guys don't want to hear about this, go ahead, click off the video. But... If you did pay attention to the main story and there's also some drawings inside of the dark cave, then well, we know Jafar is coming. We know that there is a new biome that's going to be over in this section here. And then we also have the skull rock is opening, something happened. So we're gonna be able to go inside there. So is it possible that they're all connected or they're two separate little like areas that we're going to go into the new biome or into Skull Rock? Maybe Peter Pan and Hook is inside of that. Let me know in the comment section what you guys believe to be true. But all I know is the future of this game is looking pretty bright. 
and I'm super excited to see what else is coming in Act 2. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. If it did, smash that like button for me and please subscribe to the channel. We have so much to uncover within this game and I want to take you guys with me. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.